Hi, thanks so much for watching. Uh, so in the last video, we had kind of gone over this uh, concept. Oh, that's awful. Uh, we had kind of gone over this concept of beaming together notes. And uh, I was kind of talking about in the past few videos we've been showing, uh, we've been showing eighth notes with just this flag. And we went over how we're going to beam the notes together to make them sort of a bit easier to read. So it makes uh, this uh, example that we wrote down here in yellow kind of made this a bit easier to read uh, because we can see how one beat is divided into eighth notes down here. So it makes it a bit easier to see what's on a downbeat and what's on an upbeat. So uh, in this video, what we're going to do is we're actually going to take this example that we made in 4-4 and I'm actually going to uh, actually I'm going to erase this one for right now get rid of the beaming actually you know what I think this might be easier if I just remember what I wrote and we start over again so uh, going to write down our example again and this was in 4-4 four, four time so we had in the first measure we had a quarter note then we had two eighth notes which were going to beam together and then we had I believe a half note then in the next bar, we started out the bar with four eighth notes, which we're going to beam all together. Or else, actually, no, let's beam them together two and two instead of, we're not going to beam all four of them together. We're just going to beam, beam two and two together so that we have a real clear subdivision of beat. And then we add a quarter note. Actually, let me, before I lose track of it, that's before I lose track. So just beam these all together and then we had to finish us out we had two eighth notes beam together and so now we're going to like we've been doing in the past videos let's uh if you want to right now pause the video and try writing this down on your own and putting numbers under all the beats now would be a good time to pause it because I'm just going to jump right into numbering these. So on our first beat we have this quarter note so that would be beat one. Then we've got two eighth notes and we start beat two with that eighth note right there. And maybe I'll write and kind of my ampersand. Actually, no, I'm just going to leave uh, this end blank. So we start on beat two, and then we have the upbeat of beat two, and then we go on to beat three. Beat three starts with this half note, which we hold into beat four. And that's our first measure. Now we move on to the second one. So beat one, starting with that eighth note right there, like that. Uh, and then we've got our second eighth note right here. So these two eighth notes fill up beat one. We move on to beat two. We start with this eighth note right there and go in. And uh, then we've got a second eighth note so that fills up beat two. Beat three, we've got our quarter note, which fills up beat three. And then we've got two eighth notes right here, which is beat four. Now, uh, I don't know if you did this already, if you uh, paused the video and wrote down your own note numbers under this example, uh, but now what I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw, the, draw in everywhere we have an upbeat. And actually, I'm going to, for the eighth notes at least, uh, I want you to draw the down arrow for the downbeat and the up arrow for the upbeat. So if you want to pause the video again, I'm going to jump right into that right now. So this eighth note happens right on beat two, so that's going to be the downbeat. And then our second eighth note happens on the upbeat of beat two. So we get an upbeat right there. Then we've got just downbeat in there, and just downbeat on beat three, so we're not going to worry about that. Then on beat one of the second measure, we've got our downbeat, 
on this eighth note right there. And then we have our upbeat, the end of one. So that's what that's what you would call this, the uh, uh, the end of one. So then moving on to the second beat, we've got our downbeat on beat two. That's this eighth note right here. And then our upbeat on beat two. Then beat three is just a downbeat, and we're not going to worry about it right now because it's just a quarter note. And that uh, that uh, hopefully you've uh, hopefully you've got a good grasp on how you would play those. Um, and if not, you can watch some of the videos in the uh, earlier on in the playlist where we've got a bunch of exam bunch of examples. And then uh, beat four, we have our downbeat on this eighth note, so downbeat. And then the last eighth note of this example is our and of four, which is our upbeat. So now let's try uh, let's try to just I guess sing out this example. I'm going to put our metronome back on. I think this might be a little fast. Might be. It's not. I don't mean to say it's probably you know the right speed for you for this example. It might be a little bit fast for me to try to follow along with the mouse. I guess. But um, anyway, let's. Uh, I might slow it down just so I can follow along with the mouse. Okay. So there we go. So here we go. One. Whoop. Didn't mean to do that. One, two, three, four. Ba, 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 ba. ba. Okay, I'll do that one more time. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Uh, so that was uh, that's what this example will sound like. Uh, one thing I'm going to kind of uh, I'll give you an introduction to this concept right now. Um, and then do a bit more, I'll do this a bit more in depth in the next video, um, is uh, one of the things I want to talk about is how you would say this out that'll m help you figure out a rhythm. So if, you're ha if you see a rhythm like this and you're just totally at a loss and saying, I can't figure this out at all, and you know, I've written in these, uh, written in the numbers under the, under the beat, but I still don't know how it sounds, uh, this is kind of one of the things that will help you, I guess, get the sounds out. And uh, when you, uh, is just to say out the rhythm. So to say one, two, and three. One, and two, and three, four, and. Like that. It uh, sometimes helps kind of uh, keep you, uh, kind of keep your head in the game a little bit so that you're saying and on the upbeats and then you're going to sort of label each of the downbeats one two three or four so I'm going to do that real quickly with this metronome on so here we go one two three four one two and three one and two and three four and okay and you'll notice I only said three. I didn't say four here because we held into four. So I don't want to re-articulate that. I'll do this one more time. One, two, and three. One, and two, and three, four, and. So that uh, hopefully, you know, that's a kind of a nice little trick, a nice little thing to do that'll help you figure out uh, a rhythm that you might just be having trouble with is to sort of mark it like that. And I've actually got a couple other tricks like that. Probably I'll do that. I'll show you those in the very next video. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.